Um, then shortly I got a, a new job, which is how now I moved from HP, I went to Oracle. People loved HP. People never used to move. I was among the first people to move in HP. Wow. Then people realized, Ajia, we can move to other places. Shortly, that was in August, he says those words and I'm like, oh, he's, he's really the one. Eh? <laughs> so we have the conversation with God. Then in October, he officially asks me to be... Um, he proposes. Yeah, to be, to be his girlfriend. Oh, okay. his girlfriend? Yes, of 2008. We were not dating. We were just friends <laughs> at the time. <laughs> but you, you've seen your husband. Yes, I know. But he also, when he came to talk to me, because uh -huh. some of the words he said is like, I don't know how long it's going to be. I don't know what path that will be. But I would really get to. I would really love to know you more, hmm. and to know you for a longer term sort of okay. relationship. You know something like yeah. that. Yeah. So then we start dating. Then 2000 and, 2009, but it's just the same as in working in HP. Mm. The same thing I've described. Then around any November, promotions? Um, so the promotions? No, the promotions don't come in that sense. So the salary reviews, yes. And then remember, we are getting into the first financial crisis globally. Because remember, it's 08, 09, and they heightened in 09 going to 2010. Yeah. So how is that? So HP was hardly... The, the, I joined HP when it's at its peak. But by the time it was getting to the financial crisis, the HP started, started to decline. Because it was ha affected a lot by the, by, in that season. Mm -hmm. And then again, they started to retrench, uh, started to re release people. But that, no, that, yes, so that was going into 2010. But then in November 2009, I get engaged. Mm. And remember, we're having these financial sessions, um, informal financial sessions in, in the office. We've joined the circle and all of that. And it, what gets out that I've gotten engaged um, in the office. And everyone is very excited, of course. <laughs> And then they ask, when is the wedding? The wedding was six months later. So that was in May of 2010. And then, remember Dolly? She comes to me, she tells me, oh, congratulations. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> and then she tells me, I need us to have lunch or something like that, or let's have coffee. So I'm like, now what have I done? Because remember, <laughs> she's, the, she's the cop of the office. I'm like, now what have I done? Anyway, so we sit. Then she, she told me, um, since you came, what have you bought? Uh, what properties do you have? What have you done? Where are you investing? Um, then I tell her, oh, I've, I'm about to pay, finish paying off the car and I don't know, many things. Then she, told, she asked me, do you have any land in your name? Any farm asset, any land house in your name? So I'm like, no, I don't. Um, then she says, and you said you're getting married again when? I said, in six months time. Then she looks at me and she tells me, before you get married, I need you to go look at, she, she sends me some links. I need you to go and look at this land. One, two, three, and I need you to buy land. And she said, I said, before you get married. Then I look at her, I'm like, now you, you know me, I'm a person of, of church. Eh? Our money is, my money is our money. Mm -hmm. We have joint accounts, we have all that. And I actually told her. I'm like, no, 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 me, I don't. She stopped me. She told me, what I want you to understand. One, if you do not commit your money now, all of it will go to the wedding. Mm. You will have wasted money. Two, by the time you and your uh, fiancé are becoming husband and wife, I want you, the two of you actually, to remember that you went into that marriage as a partner. And the best way to do that is I need you to go and get property for yourself and then show up and bring it as uh, family assets. Mm. That way, you will always remember that you're a partner in that marriage. And so? That's powerful. 
That's very powerful. Mm. And let me say why. Oh, that's powerful. The narrative around, in fact, I was like, Yanni, don't tell me she's going to tell you to open up a side account mm. and just be sending tunes. Because that is the narrative. Mm. This is saying even the confidence with which you come in and how you view yourself mm. is different. Mm. Okay. And it is needed if the two of you are to progress. You also need to have that mentality Correct. change. Correct. This is mo this is for you. It is for me. Wow, 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 wow. Where's Dolly? <laughs> <laughs> now you want to meet her. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that is yes. such powerful advice. Mm. So did you do it? She showed me the land. Uh, there were options. Part of the option, which was actually the fairest, was Isinya. Mm. I asked her, where is Isinya? <laughs> she explained. We went. It was Shags. <laughs> I'm like, you can't tell me to go back to Shags. I just came from Shags. All my life I've been living to I'm live. Not to, I'm not going back to Shags. <laughs> then she told me, okay, 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 okay. Thicker greens then? <laughs> because they were the first ones to do gated, the gated community aspect. Yes, if you know Thicker yes, greens, yeah. amazing, amazing mm. place. Did they complete it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, green is all, okay. Yeah, okay. It's, it's quite good. At the time, it was 850,000. And then I, I'm like, where am I getting 850,000? Um, then she said, you're in the circle. <sighs> she did the math for me. And she told me, the only thing you'll be committing is to pay this amount of money every month. Mm. And that is how I got the greens. Wow. And that's what you came with. Correct. What? Okay. Aha, uh -huh. it's all nice and dandy mm. to hear what Dolly told you. Now, me, I want to hear from you. After doing it, what did that mean to you? You know, it opened my mind so much. And, and I'll tell you, you know, I, I told you I was in a... I used to say, I used to tell my friends from 2007, they would be like, now when I moved out, when I moved out, and that time we've not, I've not even been engaged. I moved out not to live in my own house. Mm. And I'll tell my friends, I'm not going to furnish my house. Me, I'm waiting to furnish my house when I get married. So I never furnished my house because mm -hmm. I didn't want to furnish twice. So as you can see, I was already going to think marriage is a rival. Mm. What Dolly helped me understand is that it is just another transition to life. Nothing starts or stops in marriage. Mm. Mm. You come in, you enrich each other. You mm. come in, you work in partnership. Mm. So it helped me understand marriage from that perspective. Powerful. Yeah. That's powerful. Yeah. Especially because you've given that analogy of furnishing. Yes, but the, I, I had refused, which I still refused. After now I was engaged, I was like, ah, see? My husband has arrived, so I can wait for the marriage. <laughs> but from a property perspective, yes. that's what that meant. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey. And when I was doing it, because we were already married, we were already engaged, he knew. I didn't do it in... Mm, of in, course, yes. And we went to actually view together. Mm. Yeah. So now what happens? Uh, we, is, do we move now into 2009? Yes. Uh, that was 2009. That was 2009. Yeah, so I, I finished that, then... 2010. And I, uh, the Fununu, so actually a huge big thing. Mm. The financial crisis is now looming. It's looming. H HP is, is, is starting to decline. Are you, are you, God, God, my father, <laughs> 360. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> or is I, it 400? No, whatever it is. Yeah, I, I am, but I'm also assured. Because I'm like, he brought me here. I have seen him fight for me. Mm. But then I also started to feel like there is more. I could do more. The, the, the thing of, it's time for more. Yes. He started to nurture that in me. I started to have that. It's more. It's more. Um, and this is, so I did three years in mm. HP. So that was uh, 08 to 9 to 10. Uh, got married to 11. You got married in? 2010. 2010, yes. Yes. Okay. Now in that 2010, see now I've gotten married. I told God, can we sort out this school thing? Uh, because if I'm going to progress in my career, this degree aspect, we need to source it out. And then I told, I could have gone back and continued, or I could choose something else that is more relevant. Mm. So I decided to go and do international business management. Where? At uh, Nazarene. Okay. 
So I registered and I told myself, here I show up with everything in me. It will teach me the basics of doing business because it's clear now I'm rising up in the business world mm -hmm. only with a tech background. Mm. It's clear that it is international business. Mm. And at that point, you know, I had been hard on myself, but I understood it is okay to not know what you want because mm. the clarity comes over time. Wow. Because you see, I was already enjoying international business. So the class was so fun for me. And I studied, I got, I, I was Dean's List, my school fee was paid. Because my school <laughs> fee was paid, I would then pay for someone else. As in, it was a very... What do you mean your school fees was paid? Because I'm on the Dean's List. And if you got 4.0 GPA throughout, you, your tuition you was... You see plus students, now you are 4.0. Yes, I'm an A student. <laughs> So you're on the deeds list, yes. and now you, on top of that, you decide I'll use my school fees to pay for somebody else. You see, th and that was a good moment. Th that one, let me not rush through that one. That, yes. Now this is 2011, 2011, because tw nothing much changes uh, as in. So 2011, through it, I, when it starts, I, I feel the need to move somewhere else. I think we wanted to grow more. It's just the hunger yes. to grow more. Yes, yes, and because the financial crisis already did, the salaries were not being revised. Mm. Um, and so I felt like I'm stagnating and like you see what is constant for me. I want to constantly grow. Yes. I'm a growth person as in I need to keep growing. So then I started to look for jobs or to listen out for jobs mm. in the industry, which is when, uh, but, but in meanwhile, I've, I've enrolled in May, 2011, I enrolled yes. now to Nazarene cause I'm an, an, I'm a May, 2011, uh, Graduate. No, uh, as in that uh, year. Yes, yes that's the, the year the starting. Enrolled. Yes, that's the year. And, and this is, you're doing night classes. I'm doing evening classes. Yeah, evening classes. Sorry. Yes, I'm doing evening classes. Um, then shortly I got a, a new job, which is how now I moved from HP. I went to Oracle. People loved HP. People never used to move. I was among the first people to move in HP. Wow. Then people realized, Ajia, we can move to other places. This transition, so you apply, you're just applying, you're applying, you're applying. Yes. While, of course, people. What happened? No, there I was also recommended. Someone recommended me in, H in Oracle. Yes. Yeah, it was recommendation. You, you don't, of course, you don't, I'm not expecting you to give the figures, but does your salary go up in this? Yeah, yeah, significantly. Damn. Damn! <laughs> significantly. E e okay. Yeah. Uh huh. And are you happy? What's your role? So now I move from the, like, because the software I was doing in, in HP was like networking sort of software, mm. deep tech software. Yes. In Oracle, I move to business enabling technology. Okay. Which would be your um, ERP. That yes. Is, yeah, as in the resource planning, enterprise resource planning, it would be the human the management of like the hiring process. As uh -huh. in, I, I move to, tools that are used by business leaders. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you see, I go right into the space of using my tech background yep. to speak to business leaders. Meanwhile, I'm doing international business management. Mm -hmm. So I'm understanding from finance to culture to, you know, all of those things. And again, you're in a global company. And I'm in a global company. Mm. Yes. Um, then we start to think about expanding the family. We had said we'd wait at least two years because it was also supposed to give me time to also finish the studying at least to, to focus. So 2011, we knew now 2012, we need to, end of 2011, we need to start wanting to grow the family. Mm. And we, we start, you know, we're like, okay, now we are ready, let's, let's do this. There's a question you asked that brought me to this and I'm forgetting, but anyway, let's, let's continue with it, it will come. Okay. So then, um, oh yeah, the Dean's one. Mm -hmm. 